latest google camera on xiaomi redmi note 8 with astrophotography mode so hello and welcome guys welcome to crack Sweet youtube channel and today in this video i will show you the comparison between the stock camera and the google camera in this redmi note 8 and i will also show you how can you install google camera in this redmi note 8 so without further ado let's get started <music> So first of all, I will show you some comparison between the stock camera and the Google camera so that you can identify which one is better and then after I will show you the installation process. So let's watch some comparison photos. This is the picture of flower which is taken from the stock camera and Google camera of Redmi Note 8 and you can easily see the color difference between them. In stock camera you can see the picture is whitish and in Google camera you can see the real picture of flower which is red. And the color contrast of the picture taken from the Google camera is perfectly balanced and which is pleasing to the eyes. And this is the night photo taken from the both stock camera and the Google camera of Redmi Note 8. The stock camera photo looks hazy and has noise in it, whereas in Google camera you can see the picture quality is very sharp and has very little noise and when you look at the lights you can clearly see the difference between them. This is the picture of glowing mouse and in stock camera you can see there is little bit of dullness in the picture as compared to the Google camera. When you look at the glowing lights you can see the better sharpness and better detail in the Google camera's photo as compared to the stock camera. By watching and observing the picture quality of Google camera and comparing it with the stock camera of Redmi Note 8, we can clearly see that Google camera has better picture quality than the stock camera. So we have seen some camera comparison between stock camera and Google camera's photo and there is no doubt that Google camera picture quality are always better than the stock camera in any phone. Also in this Redmi Note 8 Google camera wins over the stock camera. So at least for once you have to try this Google camera on your device. Okay, now let's talk about the installation process and to install the Google camera in this Redmi Note 8, you don't even need to unlock the bootloader of your phone and camera to API is also pre-enabled. So it's easy for us cause we don't have to unlock the bootloader of our phone additionally and we don't need to enable the camera to API manually like in Redmi Note 5 Pro. We just have to install the Google camera APK on our phone and then we have to import XML file on our phone and then we will be able to enjoy Google camera on this Redmi Note 8. So this is Redmi Note 8 which is based on MIUI 11 and running on Android Pie and has the Android security pass level of 2019 November 1. So first of all I will show you that the bootloader of this device is locked. I haven't unlocked the bootloader of this device yet. So as you can see here on the screen the device bootloader is locked. And now I'm going to show you that the camera to API is pre-enabled in this Redmi Note 8. So for this I have downloaded this manual camera compatibility test application from the Play Store. So download this application and open it and click on the start button. And you can see here all the green signals indicates that the camera to API is pre-enabled in this Redmi Note 8. So now you just have to install the Google camera application on your phone and you can enjoy it. And download these two files from the description below. The first one is Google camera with astrophotography version and the second one is XML file. And then select the XML file and copy it. And click on internal storage. And here make a folder named as google camera and make sure you type in exactly same way that i'm typing right now and then go to the google camera application that you just created and here also create a new folder named as configs camera and make sure you type in exactly same way that i'm typing right now and now enter into that configs camera folder and paste that xml file here and now go back and install that google camera application on your device and now it's installed so now open it and allow the all the permissions and this is our google camera and here we have to do one important thing and that is we have to double tap on that black portion around that shutter button and this kind of interface will appear now click on that drop down arrow and select the xml file that you have downloaded and click on restore and now we have to go back and first of our google camera application so for this we'll go back and long press on that google camera application and click on app info and then click on force stop and click on ok and then we have to restart our phone 
So simply restart your phone. The reboot process is completed. Now simply unlock the pattern first of all. And now directly jump to the Google camera and open it. So this is the Google camera. So first of all, I will take a quick photo. And now let's see. This is the picture we just took from the Google camera. And you can see the picture quality which is pretty good. And there are lots of other options available as well. You can see there is portrait mode available, night sight mode available, lens blur available, video mode available. And in the mode there are other options available like lens, photo sphere, time lapse and panorama. And now I will show you some basic settings that you have to manage in this Google camera. So first of all swipe down from the top and enable this SDR plus enhance and select the ratio as 4 is to 3 and you can also enable timer as 3 seconds and now click on that setting gear icon and go to the advanced setting and you can see there are lots of settings available in the advanced section scroll down and select the quality SDR plus as per your need and if you think your picture quality has higher SDR effect then you can decrease the SDR effect from here so it's selected high so I'm going to select it as default and then again scroll down and down and then you will see the astrophotography mode so just enable that astrophotography mode scroll down a little bit and you can see here it is so just enable that astrophotography mode so now we have enabled the astrophotography mode and if you're wondering what astrophotography means then i will tell you a little bit about it uh, astrophotography is the photography of the astronomical objects like stars planets galaxies etc uh, you can use this mode to capture the better picture quality of the stars at night time and the quality will be obviously better than the photo taken from the stocks camera and if you want the better picture quality of the stars then use tripods and select the focus at infinity and then you will be able to use astrophotography mode perfectly and will get better picture quality so to use the astrophotography just go to the night side mode and capture it from there and as I already told you if you want to get the better picture quality of the stars at night use tripod and hold still and select the focus at infinity then you will get the better picture quality and now i will show you the side by side camera comparison of the photo taken at night using the stock camera and using the google camera with astrophotography mode these are the photos of the sky at night time taken from both stock camera and google camera using astrophotography mode in redmi note 8 and in stock camera the photo is completely dark but in google camera you can see little bright picture and also can see little stars in it the quality is not the best but little better than the photos taken from the stock camera And also you can record video up to 4K at 30 FPS. But you will not be able to capture 48 megapixel resolution shot in this Google camera. So this is the downside of it. So this is all about the Google camera in Redmi Note 8. So that's it for today guys. Hope you like this video. And if you like this video just let me know hit that like button. Comment below if you have any kinds of queries, suggestions or any kinds of problem. Share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksway YouTube channel. And hit that notification bell as well. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.